I've been playing around with some Podman containers on Fedora and found an issue where the Podman container that I started would not restart when the system reboots. And it does that by design because there's no daemon to actually restart the containers. Um, there is a way to restart the containers if you're running system D and I'm going to walk you through that. What I have here is a Red Hat system. Red Hat 8. And this will work on any system D based system, basically. If you're running Podman and you've got system D, this should work. Um, what I have is just some web servers that are running. Um, the, reps, the, the web server runs on port 80 inside the container, and I am exposing different ports to the host. So you can see here I've got port 8081 through 83 that are exposed. So if I go into now I have a Nginx web server that's running a reverse proxy, which basically means it will accept a connection and then forward it to one of the three servers that I have here. So if I go and I do a tail, here's the log for that connection. So here's the server. If I just do a control F5, it's going to tell it to refresh. You see that I make a connection to the server using this name. I'm sorry, it's this one on top. It makes a connection using that name. And it works fine. These containers are running currently, and now I'm going to reboot the system. After the reboot, go ahead and log back in. Now, when I go to see if my containers are running, they're not running. I do a ps-a to show me all. It shows that they're created, but they're not running. So I go to my friend Google over here. And I Google um, how to start Podman containers at boot. Um, the first link takes you back to Red Hat. And they say you have to add this SE Linux permission. Um, I am running SE Linux, so I took this command, copied it, pasted it, and that's made that a permanent setting there. Now they talk about adding some unit files here in Etsy systemd. But when I tried this configuration, um, it did not work at all. Um, I tried that for about an hour and nothing worked. So I came back to my search and went down to the next link. It's still at the Red Hat site. But there's something here about uh, generating a systemd unit file using Podman. Uh, basically, it's saying you can use Podman generate and then systemd, and it'll generate the systemd unit file for you. So these files will go into Etsy systemd system.
and you do a podman generate system D dash dash name, which is the name of the container. And then you want to redirect that output to a service file. I call it podman. And I'm on the console while I'm doing that. That's why it's wrapping. And I'm going to do a separate service file for each one of the containers. So I'm going to do podman generate again. Time out of server two. We'll redirect it. And do the same thing for the last container. Okay, I forgot to put the dot service on number one, so I can just move. All right, so I've created three service files for system D. And just take a look at this one, for example. And you have all this extra information in there that's required by system D. So there's the three files that I just created. Go back here after you generate them. You have to go in and you have to enable those services. So it's a system con system control and you don't have to use the dash user since we're a root. So system control enable and then the name of the service. So we're going to SYSTCTL. Enable. We got one. We got two. And we got three. So right now, none of the containers are running. So if I were trying to get to that site and do control F5 to refresh, it's going to say bad gateway because the main Nginx server that's doing the proxying can't communicate with the containers. Now, if I wanted to, I could, I could start the container from the command line. Since it's a um, since it's a system D service, I can just run it from the command line. You can also do a status on it. It'll tell you it's active and running. Now, if I do the same thing for one, number one or number two, I know they're not active. It'll come out, it'll say inactive, dead, because it's not running. 
So now when I go back here and I reload, I get the screen I'm expecting, but I'm only running on one server right now. So what I'm what I want to do is reboot to see if the containers start at reboot. And then go ahead and log in. Now you can see I've rebooted and it's restarted the containers. So when I go to make my connection, it loads just fine. And when I go to check the status, of those container services that I created, it says it's active, check two, active, right here, do the same thing for three, it's active also. So that was a simple tip to get the Podman containers to restart on Reboot by using Systemd. Comment, like, subscribe, send me an email. Thanks for watching.